This is so awkward. <laughs> I'm just rolling. I don't even care okay, right good. now. I'm just I'm go. Amy. And this is Napster, and today we are going to fit the flexible Philly grazing muzzle from Finline to this leather padded halter also from Finline. Make sure that your halter is adjusted properly. So this needs to be pretty loose, but not too loose. And this needs to be pretty tight, but not too tight. So this little package comes with everything you need to fit and adjust your grazing muzzle except for scissors so we're going to start by taking everything out of the package there are directions that tell you how to fit and adjust it napster are you helping um so in this handy dandy little package this is a hay net and it's amazing you pull it out, it comes with twist ties and zip ties. Do not turn the horses out with the twist ties on because the muzzle will fall off. Twist ties, Oops. zip ties, maps. Now you want to use inline zip ties. See, they're inline, I'll show you later because they work better this is the muzzle there are two well there's one large fin on each side so there's two triangles these will go on the side of the halter right here the sides don't put them in the front you are not helping <laughs> okay naps thanks Thanks, Napster. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> these three fins, three go in the back, three go in the front. You're not helping. Um, you've distracted me. <laughs> they will go on this part, on the nose band, and on this part under here. Okay, so to fit it, you take this handy dandy little string that came in that package and you go from this side, put this on the bottom, come around the muzzle, don't eat it, to the other, I said don't eat it, to the others, you're not, you're not cooperating, okay? And he's not cooperating, so if you have a difficult horse, you might have to do this a couple times. But this is about the length. So then you take the muzzle, okay? I'm gonna do this on the floor. Take the muzzle. Try to like center the center and then you figure out which holes. So we're gonna use these two holes. This one and this one. They will go below the, the halter. They'll go right here. That's where the holes go. The holes don't go above, the holes go below. Okay? Now I'm gonna put him away and take his halter off so I can put it on there. Pause it. Go. Okay, so. The triangle sides go on the D-ring sides here. So I said the second hole, okay? So this is gonna go in here, and this is gonna go through. I'm gonna put it on this one, maybe. We're just gonna twist that. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Pole goes below. And then we're going to twist that, okay? 
These three fins need to be spaced out evenly across the front of the halter, okay? Again, the second hole that we are using goes below the nose band. Make sure they're spaced out kind of evenly. The one should be directly in the center. Now this is a little tricky the buckle is right in the way so I'm gonna put it behind there and attach the zip tie that way and then I'm gonna do this side Now the middle one, some horses have a ring here. Just put it in the ring, whatever hole you're supposed to be using. But this one has this slidey ring, so I'm just gonna pick a side. I'm gonna put the ring to the left side since that's the way that we lead him. And I'm just gonna put it as, as much as I can in the middle. Okay, so these need to be on the sides, not the front. Sides, not front. Make sure you are on the same hole all the way around. So I, sh I should have one open hole all the way around, okay? Now I'm gonna go try this on the horse. So I'm putting this on only to make sure it fits. That's it. I still have to do other stuff. Now you see how it's touching his nose like this and it's kind of like tight? I am going to take these back ones and move them a hole. So there will be two holes exposed on the back. And that will give him more room for this to move. Thank you, you're being so helpful. Most horses, you won't need to do this, but some you might, or you might have to if you get a different halter. It really just depends. So two holes now exposed. Max, Max like, I don't wanna do this.
So if you notice, it's, there's more room for him to move now. See? Now he can eat out of the hole right here. See the hole? Oh, naps. He can eat out of the hole. It's fine. He can get grass. Are you having fun? <laughs> naps, you're so silly. So next we have to, it's fitted. If you're happy with the fit, next you, Napster, next you take the halter off. Stop. And then use the zip ties to permanently attach it to your halter. Okay. Go. So the zip ties, these are rated for 50 pounds and they're in line, which means you put them on and it goes. Okay. These do not come apart easily. I had to pull pretty hard. But they just go in. If I can get it in. They just go right in, okay? I'm going to only do a couple of these because nobody wants to sit here watching me attach this whole entire thing to the halter. So, I always start with the sides, always. So I'm gonna take the twist tie off and put this in here and bring it up and put it through that hole. Okay, when you are attaching these, you want this part to be on the bottom because when you put this in here and tighten it as tight as it'll go, okay, you cut this part off. If it's the other way, this part is going to be facing up. It'll be facing up and there's a chance that it could poke your horse even though you're cutting that off. Okay, so I'm going to do this middle one here. Take the twist tie out, put the zip tie in. Make sure it's in the middle of the halter. And tighten it. Now after you go through and attach all of your zip ties, you are going to take scissors and cut about right here and cut them all off, the, the extra. And then when you're done cutting the zip ties off, the extra zip tie, you're going to go through and cut above this hole. And I um, kind of make it look like this, like I cut it at an angle, make it kind of round, so that way it, there's less of a chance of it like causing marks on your horse's face. And that is how you fit it and adjust it. The halter and the grazing muzzle are both available on thinline.com. I do not work for thinline, just wanna throw that out there. Um, but the most important thing is make sure your halter is fitted properly. If your halter is too loose, the horse is gonna take the halter off and lose the halter. Also, make sure your zip ties are proper because these will move and then the horse can eat out of here. If this is fitted properly and your halter is fitted properly, your horse cannot eat out of this hole. 
Your horse cannot eat out of this hole. Your horse cannot eat out of any of these holes. The only hole your horse should be able to eat out of is this one in the middle. So just make sure everything is adjusted properly and you should not have any problems. Some of the zip ties have been breaking if your horse is a little rough and it was suggested that you could double these up. These are only these are rated for 50 pounds but it's designed so the zip ties break and then the muzzle will break and then your halter will break. Now you have to make sure you have a turnout halter. Do not use a halter that's not a turnout halter. Either a leather halter like this one. This one's nice and padded, so if you plan on leaving your horse out for a while, this is amazing. They won't get rub marks from the halter. They also have uh, the canvas halters with the leather strap on top. Those are okay too, and then they have like ones with little leather pieces right here. Turnout halters. Don't use a halter that's not a turnout halter. It's dangerous. Um, I think that's it.